Dear colleagues, first of all, I apologize for not being able to personally attend the event and I thank Christian Solidarity International for this initiative and for always being at the forefront of the protection of the rights of Nagorno-Karabakh people. I'm confident that my colleagues will provide a thorough overview of the rights of Armenian prisoners of war and hostages illegally held in Azerbaijan. With your permission, I would like to expand on this discussion by addressing the broader human rights challenges faced by the people of Nagorno-Karabakh, who were forcibly displaced due to Azerbaijani aggressions. In September 2023, after blockading Nagorno-Karabakh for nine months, Azerbaijan launched an attack on the civilian population. This brutal assault resulted in hundreds of deaths and the forced displacement of 120,000 indigenous Armenians from their homeland. Today, I would like to focus on four key areas that remain the most pressing human rights challenges for the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. The first priority is the humanitarian and social economic situation of forcibly displaced people in Armenia. Despite providing humanitarian aid, Armenia's limited resources have made it difficult to fully address all the needs. As a result, thousands of displaced people who found refuge in Armenia are struggling with poverty and numerous social and economic challenges. That's why it is of utmost importance for the international community to provide active support to Armenia for tackling the humanitarian problems of forcibly displaced persons. The second critical issue remains the preservation of Armenian cultural heritage in Nagorno-Karabakh. After ethnically cleansing Nagorno-Karabakh, Azerbaijan is systematically eradicating all traces of Armenian presence. Our monasteries, churches, sacred sites and cemeteries are being desecrated and vandalized. Furthermore, we witness daily how the Azerbaijani government is seizing Armenian property, destroying our communities and homes or illegally settling Azerbaijanis there. The vivid example is the destruction of Karinta community, which was populated by Armenians for centuries. This must be stopped. The third and vital issue is the safe and dignified return of the people of Nagorno-Karabakh to their homes. With unwavering conviction, we assert that every individual displaced from Artsakh wishes to return. I want to emphasize that we are talking about a collective, safe and dignified return, which must be unconditionally connected with the right to self-determination. This right of return is fundamental and has been affirmed by the order of the UN International Court of Justice. Therefore, we insist that the issue of return must be a component of any peace negotiations in the region. And of course, the fourth issue is the fate of Armenian prisoners of war and hostages illegally held in Azerbaijan. Since the 2020 war, Azerbaijan has exploited this issue for political gain, using it as a bargaining chip to extract concessions from Armenia. This blatant disregard for international humanitarian and human rights law is unacceptable. I would like to highlight the cases of Bagif Khachatryan, an elderly resident of Nagorno-Karabakh, kidnapped by Azerbaijani authorities from the hands of the ICRC. David Davtian and Gevork Sujan, civilians abducted while delivering humanitarian aid to Nagorno-Karabakh, and the military political leadership of Nagorno-Karabakh illegally detained in Baku. These are just a few examples of the many individuals held captive in Azerbaijan. The stories of persons illegally detained in Azerbaijan are different as they are the same. Today, they are subjected to the arbitrariness of the Azerbaijani dictatorial authorities ex exclusively for being Armenians. Given the documented brutality of Azerbaijani authorities towards prisoners, it is clear that there is no effective mechanism in place to protect the rights of those detained in Azerbaijani prisons. Both we and international institutions lack access to objective information about their conditions. Moreover, it is evident that legal means alone are insufficient to secure their release or effective right protection. Hence, the main tool remains strong international pressure on Azerbaijan that will compel Azerbaijani authorities to release all illegally detained Armenians from Azerbaijani jails. Dear all, Together with my colleagues, we raise these issues on various platforms, and this forum is particularly important in amplifying our voices. Unfortunately, with the world's current instability and numerous challenges, our concerns often go unheard. Now, more than ever, we need organizations and individuals committed to human rights 
to advocate for these critical issues and help us be heard. Azerbaijan's permissiveness and impunity must be stopped in order to prevent new aggressions and large-scale violations of human rights in the region. Azerbaijan must be held accountable for its aggressive and criminal behavior, and it is in these matters that we expect your support. Thank you once again for this opportunity.